Well, what do we have here? Be an awful shame if someone someone broke it up. Hmm? Yugoslavia, regular historical. Today's video will blow your mind. One, I'm going the TO path for Yugoslavia. I know, calm yourself. Two, I'm going to show you the brand new, updated, Le Resistance path for communist Yugoslavia. Yep, didn't even know this existed, did you? No? You do now. And finally, last, but oh my goodness, not least. Today, I'm going to show you the new Supermarine. Pause for gasp. It will consist of filling our infantry divisions with as many light tanks as possible. The light tank infantry meta, the universal division that does everything, is here. And honestly, I think this is better than the Supermarines. Pull up a chair, sit down. I'm about to rock your mind. Let us begin. First of all, research. We are focusing on a bit of industry. Stand a game with a little bit of a light tank fun. The light tank one. Also, civilian factories. We're going to build a few of those. Here and here. Croatia, Serbia. Best of buddies, right? 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 Yeah. I'm going to make a bunch of guns. And I think that's good for now with a few convoys. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. I'm into that. Shift left click on my divisions and pop them right here. We'll convert them all to the smallest division, which I believe is this horse division. This will do for now. Move them here. Exercise indefinitely and recognize the Soviet Union. That's right. It's a proper country. Why don't we recognize it and merge um, uh, the fleets exercise to level three exercise the navy to level three why not why not right We've got a few too many divisions here so i'm going to s to split and consolidate that means now we need instead of five thousand guns we need still five thousand okay consolidate again instead of five thousand we need four thousand and we're getting there and this is why we're doing this the ticking experience we have recognized the great nation of the soviet union it is time to form the peasant councils a nice injection of the red ideology and next up the mutual economic aid for a better future for the Soviet Union and Yugoslavia and disperse industry. Light tank, done. The next light tank, instantly research instantly outdated we need to wait for our ideology to get to 40 percent we're getting there we've got time to go for one other national focus and we'll go for army modernization for that 25 xp 31 percent we could do another national focus and we'll do local militias for two percent recruitable we're gonna need population we're gonna need a lot of it hey comment boyo i know what you're gonna say right now you're gonna go but the civil war is fast it is faster but right now we don't need to worry about time disperse industry two and time for another focus we will go for industrialization program program. The light tank is done and let's work on a little bit of armor. There we go. 40% support for communism. Tito, here we come. Done and abolish the monarchy. Next up, we need reconnaissance. This is very, very important. You know, I'm not a big fan of reconnaissance. I've recently changed my mind on it, but this, this, this is the one exception. You will see. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I'm a big fan of rushing technology. Engineer two, here we come. The Soviet Union has guaranteed our independence. Thank you, Mr. Stalin. I appreciate that. Next up, Yugoslavia path to communism. Boom. Next up, this one's a biggie. We finally get rid of all these internal issues. Tito has unified all of the Yugoslavian people. A multicultural utopia is possible in the lifetime of Tio, but not afterwards. Emotional, damn it! Our first light tank. The improved light tank chassis with fantastic three-man turrets with also an automatic cannon, bougie suspension, welded armor, diesel engine, and slap on a bunch of armor. Nine armies needed. Let me up the speed to four, but we can't make it because it's too slow. So let me try a gasoline engine. No, we need to upgrade engines. Oh dear. Okay, so let's hop off that for a second and get the first engine tech. All right, Recon, one is done. Do you know what I also love? Maintenance one. I'm in love with support companies today. Form the Federal Republic. Then we're going to go for the Pan-Slavic Workers Congress, which is where all the spiciness begins. Soon. And because we now have sorted out all our internal problems in Yugoslavia, the war economy begins. Limited conscription begins. We are fixing those issues. Tito! You were the man for the job all along. Where have you been? So if this is the basic engine and this is the first tech, what engine did we have in before? What's less than basic? Hmm. Back to engineer two. This is it. The start. The wee lad. 31 XP. Damn, that's expensive. Start making the boyos. All right. Pan Slavic Workers Congress. Welcome to the new mechanics in Le Resistance for the expansion pack of Death or Dishonor. We can do a bunch of things to boost communism in Bulgaria. So we're going to do that immediately and then start doing the propaganda in Bulgaria. And when we get enough political power, we can arm Bulgarian militants, which once again gives more support for communism in Bulgaria. In the meantime, 
Oh man, our industry is so bad. Expand the mining industry. Go, go, go. We're not going to need a lot of XP for this, but let's just do the changes now. So we're going to add on armored recon companies. Now this is amazing. Look at those stat increase. So breakthrough, soft attack, hardness, reconnaissance, armor, and piercing. That's right. Light infantry will now have decent amount of piercing and armor. This means this infantry division has 11 armor. Now that, that's not very high. I, I can hear you. But if we take off the light tank, this division only has piercing of 4.4. So this division on its own without the tanks could not pierce a version of this division with the light tanks. You do not know how game-changing that is. Oh. We're going to arm the militants in Bulgaria and then do propaganda against Bulgaria. This flips them so quick. Look at this. Oh, I can hear. I can hear the music. Can you hear the music? We've got enough XP for now, so these divisions can stop exercising and convert them to divisions we're actually going to use in the front line. Oh dear. Red. Disperse industry. Three. How about four? And also, let's double up on production. Improve machine tools. And then also, at the same time, more propaganda against Bulgaria. The Federal Defense Council. Defense and cheaper generals that we'll never use. All right, time to make some military factories. Stick those boys there. Be a little bit careful of building them too high north, because this land you may lose, because there's a bit of a back and forth that may happen. So just be aware of that. So that looks pretty good. And pour a little bit of steel from, oh, our good buddy, Papa Stalin. Open up a university and a little bit more propaganda for Bulgaria. Bank 500 guns and arm the militias. Go. Engineer 2 is complete. Why is this important? Because it unlocks the flame tank. Look at these babies. So the stats on flame tanks, unfortunately, aren't very good. So they don't really add a lot to the division in the ways of stats. But what they do do is add these chunky attack bonuses into different terrain types. So we're definitely going to take advantage of that. And the best way of taking advantage of that is to make an interwar tank a flamer. Add the flamethrower on. Flamer. Cheapest possible turret. Cheapest possible suspension. Cheapest possible armor. Most reliable engine, and that's pretty much it. Doesn't have a lot going on, but it still gives us all the bonuses of a flame tank. So why not start producing them? Improve the Serbian network. Let's build some roads, but only in Serbia. Surprisingly, nobody cares. You think maybe some of the other minorities would be upset by that? Yes, not. Oof. It appears to be hovering. Ooh, just under 60%, actually dipping down. Time for a coup. Should be a strong one, though. Oh, yeah, they control all the land. And Intel, they have... 8 to 20 divisions, and regular Bulgaria has zero. I wonder who's going to win this civil war, lads. So it's really tempting here to try and do the uprising in Albania too. There's absolutely no point. If historicals turned on, Albania will submit to Italy, and all the gains you've made will be worthless. Bulgaria has joined us, and now we can go for Invite Bulgaria to a very special faction. Oh, look! They're all kind of just a, a shade of purple. How cool is that? A new faction is born. The Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress. It's a shame you don't get to puppet them. They just flip your ideology and then join your faction. But I shouldn't complain. It makes a super big, chunky Balkan red block. 10 XP. We've got a spare flame tank added on. Another crucially important thing that will come back to bite is if we don't have any AA, we are going to get butchered in the skies. So start working on that immediately. So I'll say the only downside to this really awesome division is you have to kind of like tech into quite a few areas and you have to produce quite a diverse amount of equipment, which is something you have to keep an eye on your logistics. If you fall behind on one thing, it's going to come back to hurt you. Add a general on, you will do. In this case, he's already got a terrain trait. So what I would like to do for you is promote you. You become the field marshal. And just add on a general there. And the reason why I've done that is now he has one of the two terrain traits, which will be required to go for adaptable. And more than likely, because Yugoslavia is so healer, we'll get hill fighter or mountaineer, so adaptable will become available to us. And defensive doctrine is essential. Serbian steel. All right, Albania is gone. Means we skip that, and then we can focus on spreading more of our ideology throughout the rest of the Balkans. All right, we're going to work on excavation as well, because at the minute, we're straining our economy, having to import so much steel from the Soviet Union. So at the moment, I'm going to try my absolute best to try and produce as much steel as I can locally. First full army. Oh no, I need to import tiny little amount of fuel. Okay, Pan-Slavic initiative is done. We go for another research slot. And now we can start an uprising in Greece. Start plying PP and equipment into Greece. War props against Germany. Oh, you're going to need that war support. You're going to need it. And think about going for a defense expert. Yep. And a logistics. Drain 24 of these boyos. Then we can convert them into the ideal infantry template. There we go. I'm going to be real with you. These mechanics of being able to push different countries nearby to you towards your ideology are so fun because they move so quickly in that direction. So it's, oh, it's such a cool mechanic. Excavation, soft attack, AA, supply issues, more resources. Start working on basic guns now. Just chilling in the Balkans, you know, flipping ideologies, you know, overthrowing governments. And then north of us... 
Oh boy. Deploy the horses, convert them to the infantry, spread them out, exercise to level three. One thing I've forgotten about is Yugoslavia has a lot of chromium. So I'm able to go for higher levels of armor and I don't have to worry about the chromium cost on my tanks. Hmm. All right, having trouble with trains here. Press the magic train button. Boom, 15 trains pair out of nowhere and worker conditions. All right, I think we're over 50% now. We're gonna instigate a coup. Very strong chance of success. Boom. And then we can start boosting Romania now. Propaganda, arm the militants. Once again, eight to 27 versus two to three. I know who's winning that. I know. Greece, invite. We went for trucks, so we're gonna produce a little bit. It's gonna help with supplies. We're gonna add on the support AA and one battalion of anti-air as well. This adds on a lot of piercing, tiny little bit of soft attack, but best of all, it adds a lot of air attack which is going to chew through the cast of the axis extensive conscription greece you're welcome armor more armor's done light tank their army's ready drop them in adam general exercise you know the drill italy is just to fight against us well we don't have to worry about albania so that's one front less so i guess you go here and then on the front line here that's to split that's to split and we've got a hungry front you guys go here and then the extra army goes on this little fort Supply them with prioritized supplies. A little bit behind on the motorized, but we'll catch up. Italy's declared war on Greece. Next up, the military theorist. So the next part of this plan is we need to go down superior firepower because this will give big buffs to those support companies that we've got attached on. They already deal a lot of soft attack now, but we can add even more on. So yes, and well, yes, when we get more XP. One thing to do too that's quite important is to hop onto your light tank, click design and click on auto upgrade. This will save us a lot of experience when we get the new light tank chassis because it will automatically move all these modules over us for free. War props versus Italy. No action between Italy and Greece. They've got no Albania to push through. The communist supporters in Romania will be very strong. Instigate a coup in Romania. Very strong chance of success. Off you go. Italy, what are you doing? There's potentially like quarter of a million troops here. Oh, I'm so tempted to declare war. Oh, I'm so tempted. Meanwhile, mobile defense. Victory, Romania. Right, they've declared on Greece. They've declared on Romania. My allies are begging me right now. Please join the fight. We're coming. First thing we want to do is you guys immediately push into here. Oh, but then again, we could exploit this. Oh, man. Temptation is too much. Okay, guys, time for war. So here's the classic exploit to encircle AI divisions over and over again when they've got like this one port thing going on. All right, the first thing you do is you make a front line so they get all on the front line. Then you delete the front line. Then you hold control and right click. This is a support attack. And when the support attack is complete, they just stop attacking and they won't advance here. Then what the AI is gonna do then is land more divisions here and I continuously rinse and repeat this and encircle their divisions over and over and over again. It's pretty sweet. Oh, and Stalin, you wanna help me out? Oh, hello, Panzer Division. Control right click. Oh dead and equipment that's right we captured 56 of those <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where you have to keep a really close eye on your logistics because if you fall behind on something, everything's going to go wrong. And right now, we're actually behind on trains again. Okay, instigate peasant uprising in Hungary. Now, this is very strategic. <laughs> you were, you were going to love this. Propaganda campaign in Hungary. Arm the militants. We will do that when we've got 25. There we go. Another two medium tank divisions. What is happening? So as predicted, Slovenia falls pretty easily. It's to be expected. Things are getting pretty messy on the front line, so make sure you back off don't try and hold a point you can't hold because eventually they will counter attack you and do a lot of damage to you so it's just something you don't want to be in having to deal with another medium tank division no the soviet volunteers have closed the pocket oh well we got three medium tank divisions who's worth okay the front line looks like it has stabilized now all we've lost so far is Slovenia. Doctrines. Boom. 25% extra soft attack on top of our light tank recon. So powerful. So strong. Max it out. This is looking mighty fine. Look at all this equipment that we've captured. I think maintenance companies are my new favorite thing. Look at all these panzers as well. This is the next tank model. The light tank 3. The advanced chassis. Not messing around. Sloped armor. Radios. Armor skirts. 17 in armor. Tank perfection. Oh, look at all the chromium it costs. But it doesn't even matter because... Oh, Macedonia, you fix all my problems. Who could have thought a unified Balkans could hold back the Axis? Well, well, kind of. The war's not over yet. When you lose your core states, not only do you lose your factories, which is a pain to begin with, but also you lose the manpower recruitable within those states as well. So manpower... It's not doing too well at the moment. I don't want to, but I have to. Service by requirement. 25,000 manpower behind. Need to reinforce right now. 
So the big question everyone's asking is, why is this the new Supermarines? What's going on here? Why is this so strong? Well, now we're on to Light Tank 3. Now we've padded it full of armor in every way possible, shape and form. This division now has a lot of armor potential. You're probably thinking a little bit of AA or an anti-tank or another tank, for instance, will pierce this, but everything else won't. So as you can see here, look, German infantry can't pierce this. German infantry here can't pierce this. which results in like a really big bonus to damaging the enemy's org. And the AI starts running out of his anti-tank, his anti-air, as well as his tanks, the more expensive equipment, you'll eventually start to steamroll the opponent because all you're going to be facing is raw infantry equipment, which cannot pierce these tanks. It's time to reveal my hand and show the build-up in Hungary. Hungary, stability, 17%. Ooh. And, uh, ooh. Ooh. And, ah. Uh, Initiate the coup. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> And then, of course, we attack with full strength. Off you go, lads. What's going to happen in this instance now is half of these battles... Oh, my God. Half of this... All the center's been taken. Half of these battles are going to result in them unable to pierce us. Like, half of them managed to be pierced here. One of four. These ones weren't. Here, no. Here, some of them. Here, some of them. These two aren't pierced, but some of them here were. Oh, man. This is so, so good. Oh, dear. Two railway guns overrun. Encirclement in the mountains. Rip. What do you think you're doing? Huh? What are you doing? The front line's been pushed forward. Just gonna chill for just a little while. Might even be able to make another army. Yeah, we can. Let's do it. Germans making a corridor to later encircle themselves. All right, let's try a push. Go balanced. Let's see how effective we are. Yep, they're not piercing these ones. These ones. S one of four. One of three. One of four. Not getting pierced against one of the Slovakian light tanks as well. That's a surprise. Very strong coup in Turkey. Let's go for it. Oh, <laughs> join the common turn. Oh, dear. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Another push. <laughs> And then regular Turkey join the Axis. Axis Turkey. First time I've seen that. Can we join East and the Western Fronts and join up with Turkey? And we got them. Max out the Doctrines, giving loads of extra soft attack for these divisions, the ones that have got the best support on them. Three armies on the front of Germany, pushing into the Sudeten Forts and the Mountains of the Alps. You know what? I don't care. Big or small, I'll take on them all. Oh, look. A naval invasion again. Right on a port. How convenient. Free encirclements. Thank you very much. Oh, another division? I'll take it. I think this is the first First time in Hoi Fort I've ever done this. All adults serve. Here we go. Why do they keep dropping medium tanks here? Of all the things to drop into a port solo, a medium tank. Precisely what kind of medium tank? Oh, it doesn't actually say. It just says 94 captured. Slovakia knocked out. Took in a chunk of Austria. Pushing it into Czechia. I've got a southern part of Poland as well. Doesn't seem to make it any difference how quickly they're pushing into the east, though. Adaptable. That's what I wanted. Terrain penalties reduced by 30%. It's like there's nothing there at all. War propaganda against the United Kingdom. I wonder why. This is like some hardcore foreshadowing of trouble in the Balkans. Speaking of trouble, oh dear. The three factions close in. Total manpower in the field, 1.2 million over this, just this small front line. Yeah, move over. Let's concentrate on pushing into Berlin and the interior of Germany. Push! Paris is free, Rome has fallen, and the end of Germany. What do I want? Oh, a bit of Albania, yes. What? Oh, the cost is through the roof. Okay, I guess we go for the cheap stuff. Austrian Yugoslavia. Mmm, that's got a bit of a ring to it. Why do I have the option to go for Luxembourg? I'll take it. Magnificent. Look at the size of that font. Just slightly larger than France. I like that. A super fat Balkans. Truly the best timeline. Damn it! You like this video? YouTube says.